Hi there, it's Babs here from Young Academy and today I'm going to be showing you my super simple Chinese waitress cast off. This is the cast off that matches the Chinese waitress cast on, which has a really nice effect of stitches on both the front and the back side of your work so that both sides have a really neat finish when you bind or cast off. So let's show you how that's done. Now I'm already part way through, so I've got my knit one stitch here. Um, so if we're starting off, we'd simply knit one before we then move on to the rest of the Chinese cast off process. So what you do is you bring the yarn forward to the front of your work. You're going to do a yarn over knit. So you can see the yarn is wrapping over the needle here. You knit one and then you slip those two stitches off. One will form the front and one will form the back of the cast off. You then bring the yarn forward, knit one, and you slip both those stitches off the needle. And you can do them individually or you can do them both together at the same time. It will make no difference to the, um, to the look of the finished stitches and cast off whatsoever. And it is incredibly simple. It's just the yarn over and the knit and then slipping both those stitches over. And that gives you this beautiful effect of a nice knit row at the front and the same on the reverse. You've got that lovely knit row there. So um, that is my incredibly simple and very stretchy cast off, which mirrors the uh, Chinese waitress cast on. So hopefully so that's how simple it is to complete the Chinese waitress cast off that matches the Chinese waitress cast on. This is my super simple version. No twisting, turning or slipping stitches around from needle to needle or back to front or forward to back or through the back. Um, it really, really is very, very simple to do this particular very stretchy cast off or bind off. So hopefully you'll find that useful. And if you do, feel free to share with your friends. And um, if you're a designer, you can reference this in... Uh, this tutorial in your next pattern that uses this particular technique. So hopefully you'll find some more tutorials on the Yarn Academy channel and I will see you next time. Bye for now.